Hello, my name is Debbie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel where we speak life. Speak what you seek until you see what you said. Today's video is going to be a video of a day in the life of a 68 whiskey. I already have my uniform set. I am ready to go to the clinics. Today I'm gonna take you guys around the clinic, show you our room, show you what we do. It is currently 726. Uh, I usually get to the clinic at 745. Sit calls from eight to 10. That's when we see patients with injuries or um, illnesses or something that they don't feel right that has been less than 72 hours. If it's been more than 72 hours, we make an appointment on our book that I'll show you guys um, so that they can see our provider. His name is Lieutenant Russ, he's a PA uh, for 116, so yeah. Right now I'm just walking over to the clinic that's here on base. It's gonna be a pretty slow and quiet day because some of our company has left a few days ago. So there's not really much to do, not many patients to see. So once the day is done, I'll take you along with me off base to show you some of Romania. I'm just gonna basically show you guys how this area runs, right? So we have quote of the day, which needs to be updated completely, cap cap. <laughs> That's my PL, you guys, like I was saying, at least here. As you can tell, I mean, the clinic is filled with a lot of paperwork. You see our travel memo, sign-in sheet, flight physicals. I mean, we don't do that. It's another, um, another unit that does that. But uh, we have a lot of paperwork and admin to do, including us uh, storing all our information here this is just 116 and that's because we had to empty it out um, because people were leaving so we have a lot of paperwork we deal with a lot of paperwork we have to make sure it's right we have to talk to the patient about whatever paperwork we're uh, having them sign or fill out so that's the major majority of what we do at 68 whiskeys here in the clinic these are our exam rooms we have one bed here and another bed here that we use. So again, we share um, this equipment with all the units here. We have our vitals, our bio, our sharp. Obviously we have PT, we have our class A all in here. Uh, usually what I do is I tidy the room prior to seeing sick call because it could be a little bit messy, but it's basically the same setup from over there, over here, we have all our class A, EKG. Alrighty, so we have two providers here at the MCAT TMC. Like I said before, we have multiple units working out of the same clinic, so they are both uh, PAs working from different units. So we'll start with Lieutenant Russ. Hey, I'm Lieutenant Russ. I'm the PA for 116. Oh. Lieutenant Russ is my PA. He's the one that I uh, screen patients for, and we've worked but I've been in the clinic for like two months, so I've been working with him for those two months. And then during the field exercises as well, when we're not working in the clinic, we're working in the back of a 577 or something. But uh, I guess the question to you guys, being PAs and all, what's the like number one that helpful thing that you guys can think of when working with 68 whiskeys? Yeah, working with 68 whiskeys is great because they can be a real force multiplier for providers. Dun dun dun! So basically the way this works, and I'm going to set you down, actually I can. The way this pharmacy works is obviously our provider or whoever's provider, um, the medics provider tells us a certain medication that they think a patient needs to take or needs to be on or needs refills. This is where we come to. It's all in alphabetical order. We have oral medications, we have uh, nasal sprays, injections, we have um, optic drops, everything that you think you need, we probably have here. Um, so that being said, we come here, we fill out information. This book is used to record the medication that we draw, the dosage, how much, when, just to keep track. And yeah, that's basically it. We write down the patient's information, instructions on how to take the medication on here, and then we usually give it to them in these little baggies. So like I said, we get a lot of hands-on training, so right now I'm just doing a regular urine analysis. It's just a regular strip um, where we could detect substances or cells in the urine that will point out different disorders. So depending on what people came here for, we can do that. 
The clinic life is definitely different than a line medic or evac because they are mostly outdoors, being with their platoon, um, driving the vehicles, ground guiding the vehicles, like all that stuff I was doing prior to coming into the clinic, which I believe when I get back to Fort Riley is where I'm going to go back. I won't be working at the clinic until later. We are 68 whiskeys, but there's different things that as a 68 whiskey you can do. Line, evac, clinic, hospital setting. Man, there's a bunch of opportunities, and it's all fun. Turn like that. She ready for lunch. We ready for oh. lunch. We out. Ooh, it's a beautiful we out. day. We out. Ready for lunch. Defect time. Go. Of course, got to eat some good food from the defect here in Romania, and we're gonna head off base here real soon to go check on a patient, and then we'll spend the rest of the evening. Oh my gosh! Waiting room in the hospital of Romania is still the same thing as the U.S. It's long, long. Romania is beautiful. I'm glad that I got stationed here for the deployment. Just look at the drive to the beach. Alrighty, so we finally made it to Zoom Beach. Oh my gosh, let me tell you guys that it's a lot nicer when the sun is out, you know, and it's, it's getting packed. It's so important in the army to make sure you're focusing on holistic health, which is why it's great to schedule in some time for both work and play. Set up shop. There's like numerous, so the one thing you need to know about Romania in general is that because we're in Constanta and Maya and that this strip goes on and on and on, if you walk for miles down the beach, you'll have so much of this kind of setup. You have your little restaurants in every corner. Um, so if you're thirsty or you're hungry, you can always like get that. You have your little lifeguards up there um but yeah let's go take a look at the water let's go feel what the water feels like ready okay we finally are leaving mamaya or not Mamaya, sorry, Zoom Beach. It's beautiful. We won't see the sunset because we're gonna go ahead and head back to base. That's it for today's vlog, guys. Hope you enjoyed a day in the life of a 68 Whiskey. See you next time.